Okay, today we're going to talk about hyphens and apostrophes. So hyphens are first. There are five times that you use hyphens. The first would be when writing out compound numbers. For example, 21. The second rule of hyphens is when writing fractions. that are used as an adjective, so two-thirds vote would be hyphen, but you, if you said two-thirds of the class, you would not use the hyphen, because two-thirds is being used as a noun in that situation. But in this situation, it's being used as an adjective. Okay. Three, you use hyphens when there's a prefix that is followed by a proper noun. Prefix followed by proper noun or adjective. So, for example, you would say something takes place in mid-July. Or you might say um, the pro Colts fans booed the Steelers. So that's that rule. The next rule is when uh, there's a you use with word with the prefixes of all x and self in the words uh, with the suffix elect. That doesn't make quite sense. Let me see if I can rephrase that. Um, you use a hyphen in the words like all x and self. So all x self when they are prefixes. When prefixes. So all powerful self employed X player um, and the suffix or a hyphen can be used to connect two or more words to make a compound word. So, a word would be like six year old. Uh, son in law. This isn't always the case because you might have a word like short stop. That is two words put together but doesn't have a hyphen. So you need to make sure that you know the proper use of, of the hyphen in that situation. You also use a hyphen to connect a compound modifier that comes before a noun. Compound modifier to 
So in this instance, it will be um, full court press. Um, uh, star player. That kind of thing. Um, the other time you, you, in the past, have used a hyphen um, would be to divide syllables at the end of a sentence, but with new, um, with the way our word processors work today, it's not really necessary to have to do that. Um, so the next uh, hyphen rule would be um, one syllable words um, should never be divided. Let your hyphens. Um, next, let's talk about apostrophes. Okay, the first rule of apostrophes is to show possessive case. Possessive on singular nouns. And so that would be the uh, players that, um, and that's singular, and so we have the apostrophe before the S. Um, you had an apostrophe for to show possessive on plural nouns, but it looks a little different. You put it after. So you might say, if you have more than one B, B is, you put the apostrophe after the S. That's on plural. Um, you show it to, on plural nouns that do not end in S. You add them after children's. Yeah, an apostrophe S. Yes. Okay, so that is how you use apostrophes to determine possessive of a noun. Now names are always difficult um, because some people think the rule is if it ends in S, you add the apostrophe after the S, but that is not the case. So let's look at a couple of names. Chris. Chris ends in an S, but you still put an apostrophe S. Um, the only time you put an S apostrophe is for, um, and it's kind of an odd rule for old names, um, very, very historical names. So, Jesus would be S apostrophe instead of apostrophe S. So that's what you do. You always add the apostrophe S on a name because it's singular. Now you'll see in the newspaper they don't do that. Um, and that is because the newspaper uses a different style guide. Um, and their style guide is based on saving ink. So when they print Chris's, they put S apostrophe and leave the other S off to save themselves some ink. That's from an older time, but for your writing, you should always put apostrophe S on names, unless they're old uh, names, like biblical names or um, mythological names, things like that. Can you use um, apostrophes to show possessive on a pronoun? So something like everyone's should have an apostrophe S. Yes. However, you do not use an apostrophe on personal pronouns. 
personal pronouns. This is a tough one. A lot of people get confused about this. So you would say like, yours is a good Me idea. Good. Yours does not have an apostrophe even though it's possessive to idea, your idea. So that would be my, mine, your, yours, his, her, hers, its, ours, their, and theirs. You do not use an apostrophe on those uh, personal pronouns. And finally, um, you use an apostrophe in a contraction um, when they're missing letters. And we all know this one, so contraction. So don't. That is when you use an apostrophe, and I believe we all know that one. So those are the rules of hyphens and apostrophes.